Hello there. Well, I'm outside here. Um, it's been a while since I've done something like this. What I want to do is old tech chop. So um, I take my son's old iPhone 6. Uh, it's HTC. This Nook tablet and the battery. I'm going to see how well my Chinese force or machete stands up to it. And so far it's stood up to things like this, wood and other things, really good. So I'm going to see how well of an edge it keeps doing this. And this might tear it up and it might not, but I'm trying to spot to do this with. So I'm just going to do it with one hand and uh, see how that goes. That didn't go too well. But they cut the screen. Let's see if I can stand up at an angle. There we go. Like that. Um, blade's still in good shape. Yep, still in good shape. Hmm. <laughs> See what it looks like inside. Hmm. It do stink. Let's try the phone here. It's really like nail polish. Let's try the phone here. This is HTC. Check out the blade first here. It still seems to be in good shape. Okay. Got a branch over my head. It's about to drive me nuts. I'm glad I had glasses on because <clears throat> I hit this thing when I did the little pieces of glass went straight from my face. So remember to wear glasses when you do crazy stuff like this. It'll help you. Let's see here. Trying to get at a good angle. Here we go. Ready, sit. I'm not doing too much and I put my full force in it because oh yeah, it is kind of double layered too. First hit cut right through it because of the back in there, the flip down part of it with the text keyboard on it, it didn't cut all the way through. But if I put a lot of ump into it, I know to cut. I think I cut that better open too. Anyway, let's try the nook. I already took the battery out of that. So let's give that a whirl. Okay. So, get this out of the way here, keep it on one spot. All this old tip on my chopping block. Let's get out of the way. Alright. So, I think I'm going to go diagonal with this. I'm going to come down. The thing right here has got enough weight, it's got enough counterbalance and enough weight to so all you got to do is just give it enough oomph swinging it downwards it's cold and Chinese war sword and machete and maybe you can see on a the blade there there's no damage on there so far from gleaning in the sun it's all good let's try this hmm, that's shattered let's see how that looks wow 
trousers. That's nasty. <laughs> okay, get that out of the way. Cut from the back this time. We're really testing the katana out. I mean, sorry, the machete, Chinese war sword, and Deo, the Deo machete. That's what I'm really testing. It's not so much chopping the junk up. It's testing this out. See how I hold. See how well I can hold this edge. All right, so I'm gonna do a. That was pretty hard. Let's see here. Test the blade down here. That blade's pretty, pretty solid. I mean, it's to say that there might be a couple of indentations, little niches, little rollovers, but that's just pieces of metal and stuff too, off of the devices. And as you can see, I got a good striking on that one. cut down into it so I want to kind of do this it's all rotted it's moldy and I mean, look at that mold on that guy and uh yeah so I got my I tried to send my elbow there so I'm trying to see if it'll work on this um a Chinese horse will work on this and I think it will but I just gotta hit it at right angles so I'm gonna bring that down and get the Chinese horse over of course, you've seen some of my last video. That was a great angle. Right on the side there. Let's see how that works. And we'll see how. Let's see if I can hit that light. Torch on. Look, torch is run away. Oh. But the blade is like whew, remarkable. You know? So, I'm going to test it out on my skateboard and see how it does. Nice little straight cut, cut deep into the wood. Now it's just junk. <laughs> you might be a little upset when I get over it. I think we've been sitting in that truck since I've had the truck. It's been sitting out the yard longer than that. He's gonna be mad. Oh well. I get tired of sitting around. So, here we go. And there's nothing wrong with the blade, of course, that's just wood. So, didn't hold it a bit. Hope you enjoyed watching this test chop. This, um, try to damage test or just whatever you want to call it on this um, Chinese four sword in the city. And remember to view and, and all that stuff and we'll subscribe if you can. And if anybody watches over 30 of these, if I get 30 views, I'll probably do some more. I'll do a, 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 a detergent and jug chop with it and stuff like that. Bigger and better stuff. So, um, like I used to do back in the old days, I gotta have more views. <laughs> yeah, other than that, ain't worth it. Take care. One more chop for you. It's my son's old skateboard. He has a bad habit of leaving it in the back of the truck. And um, it's old and it's weathered and he doesn't do anything with it. And it probably couldn't support his weight even if he tried. So I'm going to take my Chinese war sword and give it a new look. Okay. So let's see how it works out here. So I just got inside and beating stuff up with a Chinese war sword machete and uh, hitting everything in the kitchen and i got my phone here in a pantry I, um with my pots cabinet that's the only good thing i got to hold it up maybe if i invest in something that really looked really like a real camera but i don't do enough of these anymore so i used to make killer views off of them but um <clears throat> anyway i don't do a whole bunch so i'm lapping this blade down kind of getting an idea where the little burrs might be from the paper towel sticking in them and it's not really bad at all i mean it's this thing holds up if you're going to get one
get one. Um, like I said earlier, the weight, the counterbalance and the weight, just the weight of the blade enough is, is I mean, if you just kind of put a little effort into it, 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 it will do cut something up, you know, wood or whatever, you know, whatever you're chomping on. But, um, anyway, I like it. And I give uh, the all-terrain chopper to my mom's boyfriend. I might see if I can get it back. I don't know. He might not be using it. But see if you if you listen to that me doing that, you can kind of notice um, there are a little bit of burrs there and stuff from doing that. But I pretty much wiped it all off and everything, the blade, all the dirt off and stuff. So I mean, this took it. What I happened is after I got through chopping the um, the old devices, I went and chopped my son's skateboard in half. <laughs> Cause it was just sitting there and molded all up and stuff, and then I just see how good the chops were, and it was nice clean chops in it, but it didn't record for some reason or another. But anyway, um, yeah, it's um, you can see that little burr there, a little niche, whatever you want to call it. It's not even hardly deep at all, and you know if you look against my skin there, or white on my ceiling you can see his little small indentation up and down the blade but I mean this they could cut it cut through metal that's pretty that's something so I'm gonna see if I can put a little bit of a sharpness back on it it's already sharp as it is but I'm gonna make it more sharp I got a little handy dandy sharper in here some people have better sharpness than this but I only got this one so let's sling that light out a little bit there so Maybe sharpen it up. Oh, my old boy ain't let me do nothing. There we go. That's better. It's a good thing for this. That way you won't cut your hand. Just kind of do it slowly, and that way it won't hurt myself or damage the edge. Kind of I mean, it might be small, but I'll tell you what, it does come in handy. I use it on my knives here in my kitchen. I hardly even use knives. <laughs> and, uh, most of microwave and stuff. Until you get that little smooth sound. It's, it's pretty sharp. Oh yeah. And I don't feel any burrs on the edge there. Of course the indentations are still there, you know. But uh, that right there beside my lip. But other than that, it's sharp. <laughs> it's sharp. Let's see here. Let me try a barrel. Let me uh, not a barrel, but a jug here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try these um, Fruity Pebbles treat stocks. And then I'm going to try a, a, a grapefruit jug. Grapefruit, um, uh, whatever you call it. Anyway, I'm going to try this. Let's see here. is what I'm looking for. I know it's got not going to be like a knife that cuts paper. I mean, it can be. I and mean, you know, you can sharpen it so sharp you can cut the hair off your darn arm. But that's not really what I'm looking for. Because I don't want to get the blade so darn sharp that it, it'll roll the edge over if I hit something, you know. So I'm not really looking for that. Somebody else might be, but I'm not. So let's try to jug. That's 
inset right there. That's how good it cuts. Of course, you know, it was rigid. Let me see if I can do it another way. Yeah. Like I said, I don't want to get too sharp. You know? too thin so you can see right there where it cutting very little effort in pushing it through so good stuff anyway I hope you enjoyed that and um, I enjoy destroying stuff um, I have these two jugs over here these two detergent jugs I'm probably going to use that from those at a later date I've been thinking about doing this and stuff so it's been a while since I've done it, and anyway, I didn't have that many viewers, but I've been picking up a few here and there. It's just, it's a variety channel. I do Bibles, I do hearing protection, I do this kind of stuff. I ain't done this kind of stuff in quite a while. My last one was a couple, like a month or so ago, cutting up jugs off the back of my truck, which is kind of dangerous. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and just like, um, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, please. I need over 420 some odd subscribers to get to a thousand, so that would be great. If I get over 30 some odd views for this video, I'm probably likely going to do more, and um, hopefully it'll be more than that, and uh, if I don't get that many views, I'm probably not going to worry about it. Uh, anyway, just depends on how many viewers I get. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one. God bless, and see you later.